Hello everybody, thank you for joining me. Over this weekend has been seen the anniversary of the day in 1868 when the first set of traffic signals was installed. It was um, um, put in place outside the Palace of Westminster in Parliament Square. J.P. Knight um, was the inventor. He was a railway engineer and he brought the system of semaphore signalling with an arm raised if you could go or dropped if you couldn't uh, um, to the roads. But of course this didn't work at night, um, you couldn't see the, the, the semaphore arms, so the uh, alternative for night time was this red and green light lit by gas. Uh, sadly though it was not a successful experiment, the, um, uh, uh, not long after it was installed the traffic signal exploded uh, and the, uh, the poor policeman who was operating it got killed. It remained um, for the uh, next century when electricity was available for um, the first traffic lights as we would know them um, to come into operation. But uh, thinking about traffic lights made me think about all those things in society which govern our lives in order to enable us to live together without harming each other, like driving on the correct side of the road and, and so on. And some of these are written and uh, enforceable by law, like those two things, or sometimes they're more um, convention, um, things that we just accept as being uh, sensible ways of behaving. Uh, and, and sometimes if people don't accept those conventions, it can be quite irritating. If, for example, somebody jumps the, the queue, or if somebody doesn't give way when, they, when they're driving and they should do, um, or when someone is constantly interrupting you when you're trying to say something, that there are certain conventions about the way we should behave with each other. And, and when, when I'm sure I'm not the only one who gets really quite irritated when they're not observed. And I wondered why, and I think it's partly because it threatens us at a fairly basic level. We, we need to have an understanding of how to live together in an orderly sort of way. Because I think deep down we all fear chaos. We all fear the damage that lack of any kind of order or conventional ways of behaving would bring to us. And so it's a fairly deep reaction, I think, that makes us irritated when people don't obey the conventions. But I think it's also, more simply, that we don't like anything which gets in our way, which stops us doing what we want to do when we want to do it, to put it bluntly. And I, and I think um, that, sort of, uh, that sort of desire um, to, 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 to get on with life as, as we want to live it and not have anything hindering us uh, is also a fairly basic um, thing that we humans experience. And, and that's something that I think isn't in, entirely helpful. Uh, and, I, and I think today I want to try and spot that tendency in myself um, to recognise that actually life is much better lived, as we all know it is, when it's lived cooperatively. But sometimes I don't feel like behaving like that and I think perhaps it's a good idea to remember that actually we're all safer if we do cooperate and work together rather than doing just what we want to do.